Hey, my name is Connor, and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto markets. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the Polkadot.js browser wallet extension from start to finish. Because about three days ago on my last Polkadot video, preparing you for the parachain auctions that are set to go live on November 11th, I asked you, the Crypto Empire community, if you wanted to see a tutorial on how to set up the Polkadot.js wallet, and I received an overwhelming amount of messages asking for the tutorial. So you guys asked for it, of course, Crypto Empire does deliver, so I'll be showing you how to set it up from start to finish in this video. Be sure to stick with me until the very end, and if you are new to Crypto Empire, go ahead and join the community right now by hitting that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And let the games be with you. So let's hop right into it. This website that I am on right now is polkadot.js.org. I will leave the link right down in the description below for you to easily access. So you make sure that you use the correct URL because there are some fishy websites out there that want your dot tokens. So stay safe out there. Always make sure to put security at the utmost priority because your cryptocurrency is your cryptocurrency and nobody deserves to get their hands on your dot or any other of your assets. So once you are on this website, what you're going to want to do is this box, the middle one to the left extension, this is going to take you to the Chrome Web Store when you hit this link. So go ahead and click on this link and bam, we are now at the polkadot.js extension. We're going to want to hit download for Chrome right here. So let's go ahead and hit download for Chrome, open that in a new tab, do whatever you need to do, let this load up. All right, so now we are at the Chrome Web Store. I know that this is the correct extension because I came directly from the polkadot.js website itself. I will leave this link down in the description below so you make sure you get the right wallet. Once you are here, I'm using Chrome. I usually use Brave, but for this tutorial, I'll be making a brand new wallet. So hit add to Chrome, add to Brave, whatever browser you're using, hit add extension. Now in the top right of your browser, what you're gonna wanna do is hit the little puzzle piece and you're going to want to make sure that this is pinned right here, the polkadot.js wallet. From there, you're going to be able to easily click on it like so. And you're going to want to say, understood, let me continue. Now, we're going to create a brand new account. So we'll hit the plus button in the middle of the screen. Go ahead and hit that plus. Now, this is your 12 word seed phrase. For the sake of this tutorial, this is a burner wallet. My regular wallet is obviously not going to be shown on camera, but this is how a 12 word seed phrase does look like. You're gonna to wanna to write this down on a piece of paper outside of your computer. Don't keep this on your computer in a file because people are crafty nowadays and they can get their, they can make their way to these 12 words if you are not careful, if you just leave it right on your desktop. So stay safe out there. Write this down on a piece of paper. Put it in a place that you know only your eyes will see it and then we'll move on. So after you save your 12 word seed phrase, you're gonna check this box and then hit the next step. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is name your wallet, name it whatever you like. Let's name this Crypto Empire Tutorial. Now we're gonna to wanna to select for the network, because this is for the Polkadot Parachain Auctions, we want this wallet to be specifically for the Polkadot Relay Chain. You're gonna be able to create as many wallets as you want Right, you can make one for Kusama, you can make one for all of these different parachains, but for the Polkadot parachain auctions, we want it in the Polkadot relay chain network. So let's go ahead and select that right now. Go ahead and create a password, whatever you want that to be. I'm not gonna tell you what mine is, but you can guess that it's pretty funny. Go ahead and confirm that. After that, we're gonna hit add the account with the generated seed, and bam, we got our wallet. Now from here, you're gonna to wanna to access the Polkadot.js dashboard where you're gonna be able to hop between all of the different chains. So head back to this main site here, the polkadot.js.org, and in the top left, polkadot.js.org slash apps. You're gonna to wanna to click on this one and it's gonna take you to the portal. Wait for this to load up. Now once we are at the portal, it's gonna to ask to access our wallet and we want this application to have access so we will allow it. Now we are in the Polkadot Relay Chain portal. Up here in the top left of the screen, you can see that you can select all of the different parachains as well as the Kusama Relay Chain. So for Kusama, we can easily switch to the Kusama Relay Chain by going to the top left, clicking Kusama, 
And what I did there, let's just wait for this to load. It does take a second. So the Kusama relay chain did just load up in a few seconds. So as you can see, the colors did change. This is a completely different blockchain. We're on Kusama now. We're not on Polkadot anymore. We want to make sure that we are in Polkadot. And by the way, you can see in accounts, we don't have any wallets here. All right. But if we go to Polkadot in the top left, we'll hit Polkadot. And we do that on parity. It doesn't matter which one you use. Wait for that to load. So it loaded right up to the accounts page. And we can see the wallet right here, Crypto Empire Tutorial Extension. Beautiful. Now what we're going to want to do before we fund our wallet is we want to make sure that we have the JSON file downloaded and stored off the computer. So to get the JSON file, what we're going to want to do is head to the top right and click on the browser extension, the Polkadot.js browser extension, and you will see three dots to the right. You're going to want to hit export account. From here, we put in our password and we hit export. Now, over here in the bottom left, you can see we did just download a JSON file. So go ahead and save this file first on your desktop. And I really recommend to offload it to a storage device that is not connected to your computer, an external hard drive, USB stick, whatever you got to do, keep that file safe. That is how you're going to access your account. If you do want to use a different device, etc., etc., you'll just upload the file, put in your password, and then your 12 word seed phrase is if you lose everything, you can put in those 12 words, and that's like the key to your account. So you never want to give that to those 12 words to anybody. And there are some very elaborate schemes out there that will cause people to emotionally give their 12 word seed phrase to a perpetrator. Don't do that, be smart out there. But anyway, you now have your JSON file stored safely. Very good. Now it's time to fund your wallet with some Polkadot. All you need to do for that is hit the little logo to the left of your uh, wallet name. And as you can see, that's going to copy. It's a clipboard. I can show you if I paste it right here and filter your tags, the wallet address will paste. So whatever exchange you're buying your Polkadot on, you would hit transfer, send, export, withdraw, whatever term you're using on that exchange. You paste that wallet address in on the Polkadot network, you send it, and you're going to get your dot, and it's going to show up right here in balances. So that is how you set up your Polkadot.js browser wallet extension from start to finish. It is a very simple process. The most important thing with this is your security. Keep everything safe. You'll be golden. No stress. Take the precautions now so you don't have to pay the price later. So this was a brief tutorial on how to set up your Polkadot.js browser wallet extension in light of the Polkadot parachain auctions that are beginning on November 11th, which is just about three days from now. If you do plan on taking part in these auctions, I strongly recommend you watch my video on it to brief yourself on the situation. And then from there, go the extra mile, join the communities of the projects that you're going to be loaning your dot to. Join their Telegram, join their Discord, make yourself aware of exactly what is going on because early adopters do get rewarded and you are an early adopter. So you're in the right place at the right time. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And if you are new to Crypto Empire, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.